disassembly of the dollar pen is relatively straightforward but the first time it's not so easy so what you do is you take off the cap and you can put that on there and unscrew the blind cap there we go blind cap is now in the cap easy storage roughly speaking what you do to the uh, piston here you can also do to the piston of the noodlers roller ball the original roller ball that looks like this it's the same body I think you can screw out the roller ball tip but I don't have it at hand so right now all we're going to do is take apart the fountain pen you see that after you've done it a couple of times this might be easy if not use a bit of grippy material the nib and feed come apart uh, they don't actually slot in place or anything but be mindful of the fact that down there there is a specific way in which nib and feed should fit in as you can see right in there is a little bit of a ridge and it ends there the ridge is where the underside of the feed goes right now we have the actual piston very simple to take apart grab it right there on those threads not on the on the actual turning knob not below that but on those threads just unscrew the whole barrel that's all there's to it now the first time this is going to be a bit difficult it might be advisable to use grippy material now be very careful because this is fairly thin plastic and it will crack use two sheets of grippy material grab the barrel grab these threads and unscrew the two once you've done that you end up with the whole piston unit it contains a couple of items first of all there is the piston there we go the piston is easy you can take it out put a little bit of silicon grease right on those threads as well as a little bit of silicon grease right there on the piston once you are satisfied you can just take out the entire piston turning knob put a bit of silicon grease on those threads screw it back in place note there is a sort of phillips like cross section there you just stick the piston in there make sure it's grabbed by the turning knob and you're done once you've done that take the barrel screw that back in place don't over tighten it as soon as it's in stop turning because you will crack it make sure there's no silicon grease on your fingers take the nib and feed roughly align the shoulders of the nib to the shoulders of the feed something like that take your pen make sure you put it in the proper manner which should be easy it just won't fit otherwise you see it slots in place there that's where you want to put it in make sure the nib is pushed in all the way back take the cap put the blind cap back in place cap the pen put it down sit back and have yourself some haggis